time. Okay. Okay, Natalia. So I am super excited, you guys. And I know people will probably be like hopping on as they're as they're situating themselves for the evening. But I am, yeah, I'm pumped to have Natalia Mulieri on. Natalia is she's an East Coast girl, and um, she is. <laughs> Awesome, you guys. And if you're not muted, mute yourself, please, and I'll make sure that everyone is muted. Um, but yes, if um, if you're not muted, please mute yourself. But I am just, I'm so excited, to, except for Natalia, you don't have to, but I am so excited to have her on tonight, you guys, because she is just a total gem, a total rock star. Um, she is, I've watched her build her ice strength business really kind of from the get-go, um, but what, is, what really has happened recently is she has blown it up. From making a full-time income at roughly a two-star level to in one week, she blew it up to a four-star level, which is making a multiple six-figure income when you consistently maintain that level. Um, and she just, she crushes enrollment contests. She's been rank advancing her team. It's so fun to see, and her energy and her light is just so cool. She's She's young. She's a young mom. She has a little boy at home who's just adorable. Um, and I know that she also uses a lot of social media. So Instagram, I know she can speak to, um, as well as Facebook. And we'll let her talk and share her story. But yeah, Natalia, I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you so much for joining us to kind of talk about um, building this business really from a young age with a lot of balls in the air and just building it so fast. Um, we're just pumped to have you here. Oh, well, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you popping on and um, learning more about my story. And hopefully I can share with you guys whatever, like ev anything and everything that I know that's helped me get this far. And um, just know that you guys are here. You showed up and it's, I mean, it's nine o'clock on my end. I don't know what time it is where you are, but just know that since you're on this call, like you're already like a step ahead of the game. So pat yourselves on the back because it's not easy to show up. Like we don't always want to do these kind of things, but it pours into your business. And at the end of the day, like there's nothing more important than like developing yourself first before you can go and lead others. Um, so without further ado, I just want to share my story a little bit. I mean, it's nothing crazy. It's very simple, but uh, I used to work at Lululemon. I was there and I had like, I was just done with pretty much just done with school. I was working there full time and I also was teaching group fitness classes on the side as well. Um, about 12 a week on top of a 40 hour work week. So I was working like 52 hours a week. I was teaching 6 a.m. classes then I was 6 a.m. 7 a.m. class. I would go to Lululemon at like 8 a.m. get done at three. Then I'll teach like a 4 30, 5 30 and 6 30 class. And like, I was like hustling and I was in my early twenties. I'm 25 now, but I just had this mentality, like work, 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 like grind, grind, grind. And that was just kind of my days. And I did it and did it and kept going. And, um, I met, I ran into strangers during a shift that have come in week over week, which are now my best friends, Megan Wally. Um, they would come in time over time and just shop uh, We would always have good conversation, like building a really great connection bottle around and I mean, I'm always trying new things. I was, I played lacrosse in college. I was a D1 athlete and I was always on some kind of diet, meal prep, you name it. I did it all. Um, so I was always interested in like a new thing. And Megan Wally, like sincerely, like really, you know, got to know me. And I know that they're obviously were probably really trying to push isogenics, but that was not their intention. Um, like in the beginning, we were just they were just creating a true strong relationship with me. And I really built trust with them. And obviously the fifth or sixth time they've come in week over week, you know, I really asked Meg, I was like, what are you drinking? And, um, so she talked to me about isogenics and just the products, like not anything about the business at all. And I really wanted to lose weight. Like I wanted to just get down like 15 pounds, get a little shredded. Um, and just feel good in my skin. I was so exhausted from working. Like I was really tired. I was on my feet all day and I was teaching like, <laughs> there was a days I was teaching like six group fitness classes and I was just completely spent. Um, so I need, long story short, I tried these products. I had an amazing transformation, like literally life changing for me. And I honestly just showered it from the rooftops. So I told everyone about it. I made sure to like let my friends know, not like weird or any type of way, but when I have a good 
experience with product, any type of, um, you know, like hair, nails, eyebrows, eyelashes, you name it. I'm going to tell all my friends and we're all like that as women, you know, um, even with the clothes we buy, the makeup we wear, this and that. So I, I started sharing it. And before you know it, my first week, I think I made over $500 and I really started to think like, holy crap, I pretty much made the same amount of money in one week with Isogenics that I did in a week of working almost at Lululemon, like retail, you don't really get a lot of money. Um, so I really started digging into the business and Megan Wally took me on their hand and I just kind of took off. And in eight weeks, I hit crystal executive nine weeks. I hit two star and I've been here now 16 months later and I'm now four star and that was not planned at all, but it's been completely life changing for me. And honestly, now, you know, looking at being a, like being a mom now, there's so much more value to this business because the fact if I ever like, sometimes I get so choked up thinking about this, but I think when you guys drive so strong with a why and like your passion behind it, I think that's what like makes me get up every day and do what I do. Because I know that if I didn't have this, I, my booty would be back at Lululemon and back at group fitness, like t working 52 hours a week. I would have had it done daycare. So um, and that just like was not an option. Like I did not want to do that at all. So, um, that's kind of where I am now. I'm home full time with the baby and the amount of money that we've been able to bring in is substantial and life changing for a 25 year old. Um, so that's kind of my story in short, it's nothing special, nothing crazy. Um, you know, I'm just like one of you guys and we're all like people, you know, and we all have our little stories, but that's kind of where I am and where I sit now. So yeah. Thank you. Oh that lights me up, Natalia. I, yeah, helping like moms be home with their kids is such a passion of mine. Like I just, and that's probably why I was like, dang, I want to watch this girl. Like you're such a young mom. And to be able to do that is just, it's so incredible. And it's true when you're just like lit up on fire with a strong enough why, I mean, you, nothing can stop you. Right. So it's just so cool to hear. So what do you think have been the main keys to your success? Like growing the way that you have, I mean, just the ins and outs. And I mean, running to Crystal Executive, some people on the call are looking to do that. Running to a full-time income, some people are looking to do that. I know you use social media a lot, so potentially touch on that. And yeah, you just open, just open. What do you think are the main keys? Yeah, for sure. I actually have a slideshow that I can kind of present to you guys. Yeah. I have been like the biggest, I presented it on a call like last week for the summer, one sweet summer. I don't know if you guys were on it, but I'd love to share with you guys. Cause these are like the four top things that I think has literally turned my business around using social media. You know, I've been doing a lot of like summer challenges, like challenges that have literally blown up business. Um, so I'm actually going to share a screen and I'll show you guys, just walk you through a little slideshow and how we go about how I usually go about stuff. Um, Perfect. Yeah. You should be able to hit share screen. Do you yeah, see I got it. Okay, cool. Perfect. Can you guys see this? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Um, let me just get into like slideshow view. Okay, cool. So my first tip overall is like creating authentic relationships, connecting and building trust. And that has been huge for me. Like I, I mean, you guys probably get a ton of messages a day, like cold messages from people. And when I heard the word, like you got to reach out to like 10 to 20 people a day, you know, I always thought, you know, just like reach out and be sketchy, you know, but that's not how you do it. And if you are doing it, just make sure you're doing it in a more authentic way. So when I kind of changed my verbiage, I actually got a message from a random girl. Like this was a message that they sent me and she said, Hey girl, how are you? I just wanted to reach out and share with you an amazing skincare product I just started using and I can't believe results I'm already having. Would love to know if you want more info about it. This is a girl that I went to college, um, went to high school with, haven't talked to her in a while. This was like the first message she sent me in probably like five years Granted, like I just had a baby, I got married, like a ton of life things happened to me. And all she cared about was just selling me her skincare product. And I didn't even respond to her. Like I really didn't. Um, I kind of just like brushed it off and did whatever. And um, I honestly think if she would have went to this message in a more initial touch way, like mentioning something very specific and asking a question, like I just like had a baby, congratulations. Like, how's it going being a new mommy? 
honestly, if she would have messaged me that first, I would have, I would have gone into a conversation with her, like built, rebuilt our trust, rebuilt our connection, our relationships, and just got into talking. So this has been huge for me when I message people. Like I do not cold message people. I really, truly build that relationship. Like I ask specific questions and I really just want to genuinely get to know people. And I think that's been a huge shift in my business because I was a girl that used to do this in the beginning and I never get any responses. And once I started switching to like these kind of messages in the beginning, building that relationship and up guys, this takes like weeks and months and maybe even a year, but it's so crucial to build that trust, build that great relationship and connect um, before like going to sell somebody. And I always tell people all the time, like, this is not about you. It's about the person on the other end. And I think, you know, don't look at them as a dollar sign or a PIB. Don't look at them as a rank advancement. I think if you really just take yourself out of the equation and focus on them and their life, people love to talk about themselves. You can get in a great conversation. So just know that this is super important. And once I started switching my wording and really um, creating relationships, Instagram, Facebook, even just out and about, like in public, um, people have like jumped on board like right away. And I mean, not right away, but usually like a few weeks after we've been chatting and I always keep up with them and stuff. So that's been huge for me. My number one tip, don't cold message, like get to know these people before you really, you know, introduce isogenics to them. Um, tip number two would be like consistency and follow-ups. And I can't tell you how many times I've like drop the ball with people and not follow it up, you know? So I would definitely recommend like keeping a list of people. I have all my prospects on a list on my phone and I like check off every time I follow up, whether it's a second, third, fourth, or fifth. And I thought this 80% of sales are made on the fifth and 12th contact, which for me is crazy because most people, 48% of people never follow up. Um, and then 2% of sales are made on the first contact. So I always try and tell them, my people like don't think that one post or one reach out like one conversation is going to have them like you know signing up with you so you got to keep keep contacting them keep following up not being annoying but you know it's just simple just keep reaching out and following up that's key and i feel like you guys probably already know that but that has turned my business around too just like keeping a list being organized and constantly following up with people and these people that i follow up with are ones that have reached out to me initially about product like they were the ones who were interested in the beginning like i never reached out to them you know they came to me first so if you're going to come to me first i'm going to keep following up to you until you say no to me not being annoying but just like keep the conversation going um, number three, and this is like, this is like my bread and butter right here. And I know that you guys all probably know this too, but this has helped me so much, especially being 25, like people out of college in their young age, like price money is always a thing. Like I'm sure I've talked to multiple, multiple families and women and men that are in their forties and they say they can't afford isogenics. And first it blows my mind because I don't know. I, I just, it really made me realize how many people live paycheck to paycheck and really live on budget. Um, but it also made me realize that people don't understand how much they're actually spending on food. So whenever I get on the phone with somebody or talk to them, text them, whatever, I always price qualify them. Like before they tell me the price, ask me the price. I ask them, I always start with them like well let's I'll meet you where you are financially like let me let me walk, walk me through your day like what does it look like what are you spending on average on food and so I usually like walk them through their day breakfast lunch dinner snacks coffee protein any type of extra vitamins or whatever they're taking and I kind of try and get an estimate about how much money they're spending to seriously offer them a really good product or a good breakdown of like the good better best package they'll fit right in their budget they don't feel like they're being like upsold to anything, you know, they're like, I'm going to, you're, you're meeting them where they're at, which I think is great. And I think that trust is super important. Um, cause no one wants to feel like they just got like sold something they didn't really need. Um, so I walk people through their day and these are like very basic numbers, like coffee and breakfast sandwich, $6. Like I know I don't pay that much money. Like I, pay, I, I feel like I pay way more than that for like a Starbucks coffee and a breakfast sandwich, but I just kind of kept the numbers super low. And I'll be like, oh, what is, what do you usually have for breakfast? Molly will say, oh, I usually go to Starbucks. I grab a coffee and I'll just get like a breakfast sandwich, or like a croissant or something or a muffin. 
And I was like, what, what would you say that costs you? And she's like, oh, maybe like $6 or so. Um, so then I'll put that down. Lunch, what are you eating first? Salad, like, I mean, I know I spend like 12 to $15 a day on a salad with like the right protein and all that stuff in it and avocado, which is like $2. But anyway, so salad, I was like, oh, okay, I'll have a salad for lunch. What are you spending in there? She goes, oh, maybe like, great, tally that up. Dinner averaging about four dollars per person and then you add on like an apple yogurt and a protein bar all of that food right there is actually costing them twenty dollars a day that's what the equal amount is so once i price qualify them i'll be like oh so would you say like twenty dollars a day is about how much you're spending on food and they're like yeah that sounds right that's that's really in my ballpark and um that's like if we're not eating out and stuff and i'm like perfect i have an amazing program that literally fit right into this budget um um, not only are you getting everything you need, but you're getting your vitamins, minerals, you know, you, if you're drinking green juice, which most people our age or just healthy people do, they spend like $8 on it. And I always tell them with the value pack, the greens powder is a dollar and 10 cents per serving. Like you can't get that cheap for if you just add water in the powder. Um, so I kind of set them up on their plan and most people will enroll with a value pack if they see that their budget is pretty comparable to what they're getting. Um, so that's a great way to just push like premium packs and take 30 day system. Um, and that has really helped me rank advance so much. Like when I hit four star, I think I had like six or almost seven value packs in the week. And I think that's what helped me like go cycle. So just know that when you're going for ranks and stuff, it's huge for, um, the ghost cycles. And then my last tip of advice would be to create a challenge for new members. And I love doing graphics and stuff. I use Canva app and um, it's just a passion of mine to do this kind of stuff. But I have seen a massive like explosion in business when I do these like summer shreds or de detoxes. And I encourage you guys all to just just get one on the calendar. And I know a lot of you guys do this now, um, but this has been huge for me. And I think, that this is one thing for people to like pull the trigger, um, knowing that they're getting support and, uh, like doing it with other people. Um, so yeah, that's been definitely, those are like four huge tips that I always share with my, my girls or, or anybody joining me. And so I just wanted to share with you guys because I thought it was kind of helpful. Um, but yeah, that those, hopefully those are like a little bit helpful for you guys. Um, yeah, that is that is awesome, Natalia. So one quick question I have. You said you keep track of all your contacts on your phone. Yeah. Do you have an app for that? Or do you, is, is there a specific app you use? Or do you just literally use like a notepad? Because you said just, you can check off. I just use a notepad. But once I get to their name, like I'll just do one, two. I'll like, if I followed up with them twice, yeah. like if I followed up with them once, I'll put a one next to their name and then I'll put a two and then I'll put a three, four. Yeah. And so I know how many times I've contacted them. And with those studies, like that percentage, like every time, I'm not kidding you, like on the fifth or sixth time I've had that conversation, like usually people like will join in. Like that is so that's really powerful. And the way that you do it, like I think some people think they need some super fancy way to track every, you know, some contact management system or something, but like, just yeah. do whatever's going to work for you so that you're constantly yeah. tracking. Do it on a phone, do it on an Excel document, literally just put one, two, three, four, five. And then you know that once you're in that like five, fifth follow-up to 12th follow-up, like you're getting closer and closer to locking in that deal. And I'm not saying like send a million messages of these people, but, um, the way I do it, and I think this is super helpful, like I'm sure you guys have gotten ghosted like on a text message before, and I do this all the time. Like I have probably 60 unread messages like on my phone. <laughs> like I'm so bad. But if someone responds to a story on Instagram and I, I'll like reply to them or like I'll reply to them on Facebook, but then I didn't text them back. So just know there's like three different ways to contact people. And um, that's, that's kind of how I follow up. I don't always follow up with the same like the same exact tool. Like if they texted me or, and they're not responding and I see them post an Instagram story of like their cute baby or something, I'll be like, Oh my God, she's adorable. Like whatever, blah, 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 blah. Genuinely. I do say that like to them, I'm like, Oh, I haven't heard back from her. I'm going to follow up with her and talk about, you know, something important in her life. And then she, they'll respond back. And then, then I kind of go into conversation. Hey, I haven't heard back from you about isogenics. Like, what were your thoughts and stuff like that? 
and we kind of go for a whole new conversation there. So just know that if people aren't following up with you about the actual isogenics, reach out to them on different platforms. Like, like responding to their Instagram stories has been huge for me. It's kind of kickstarted um, conversations that were ghosted. So yeah, and they're like, I'm, and they're like, I'm so sorry. I've been so busy. Like um let me look over everything i'm like great i'll follow up with you tomorrow and we'll get you all set up and bing bang boom locking in deals left and right so just know that like you can catch them in any way whether it's on a text message facebook or instagram it's that kind of sneaky, awesome. but not like too super sneaky you know yeah Be no heidi, heidi said she does it too heidi you said you switch up platforms that's really smart so speaking of instagram specifically like i know you have built a really big following on Instagram. Do you, I mean, like what's your best advice or tips for that? Um, I honestly think that, I mean, Instagram stories have been super powerful. Um, I've, I've tried to like, I don't know. It's, it's hard. It's a lot of work. I'm not going to lie. Like I spend like a lot of time doing that kind of thing, but it, I feel like it does come back in a good way. Um, I have done, I think people uh, I've been talking more about like cleanse days and stuff recently and just showing the benefits of them through my actual speech, not like through a picture and the value of it. And I think when you explain to people how the cleanse days work, they think like, Oh, this actually isn't that bad. And they understand the science behind it. So, um, I've had a lot of, I got like five or six enrollments just from a Instagram story of me getting on there and just talking about how our cleanse system works and why it sets us apart from like most other shade companies um, that don't have this kind of nutritional cleansing. Um, I know, like, I think quality photos, quality images are key. Um, spend time like getting presets or like editing your pictures to make them stand out. You know, people are scrolling like all throughout the day and they're gonna stop at something that's gonna catch their eye. Um, so spend the time on like getting good images, getting good quality. I mean, I do use a, a camera and I do use my phone, but I, I think like quality pictures really, really pops out to people. Um, I'm trying to think what else is like, has been helpful on Instagram. Honestly, I literally connect every day. I reach out to like 10 people and just genuinely connect to them. Not anything about isogenics, just relationship building. Um, people who I think like are, I think would be really great for the products and then would be killer at the business. So yeah. those people and make it my effort to reach out um, constantly, just build and nourish that relationship until they really, really trust me. Um, and these are like big people, like on um, big Instagram accounts. Um, I don't know. There's so many people I've been talking to, but this random girl, she actually, her husband, her boyfriend is in the NFL. He just got drafted. You guys probably know Saquon Barkley. Um, so his girlfriend just had a baby and I reached out to her just randomly. She has like 90,000 followers on Instagram. And I said, Hey girl, I'm so happy for you. Um, please let me know if you need anything at all. Like I just had a baby too, and I'm 25 and you know, it's tough, you know, being a young mom and not having a group of girls to, you know, relate to. So just let me know if you need anything at all. Never said anything about isogenics. Yeah. My intention was to maybe get her, um, to do the business and do the products and stuff, but I didn't start with that. And we've built an amazing relationship over the past like, like three weeks now. She just asked me about isogenics herself based off my story. She started looking at my stuff. She started following me. We got connected. And from there, I have a call with her tomorrow and I think she's going to enroll. So it's just like build that relationship, guys. It's so important. Um, that has, that's been the biggest thing for me so far, for sure. That's super good. Yeah. So relationship building, I mean, and that would apply to any age, right? Like you and I talked about, you know, kind of the younger age range, network marketing, isogenics for like the first half of start. But would you say there's anything else you would add specifically to that or just everything you're saying applies there too? I mean, I, yeah, I, think, I think any age group, like you should be connecting on any level and kind of like reach out to people who you can offer advice to or just like, I don't know for right now, my target is like young moms. Like that's yeah. what I've been going after. So I think what you are, what you attract, I think that that's, those are the people that you can be connecting with very easily because you can relate to each other. Yeah. You know? So what I'm also hearing you say is being super clear on who you want to attract and being yes. super clear on who your audience is, not going to try to enroll the whole world, but like, who are you specifically speaking to? 
Yeah, definitely. And I think that, um, you know, I, I, feel, I feel like Kayla Kraft like always talks about this all the time, but she has, she has this like perfect person that she always looks to enroll. And I mean, yeah, happy product users come in and out, but when you're looking for business builders, you want people who you can relate to or who you're looking for. And right now it's like young mommies or like young, young mommies for me. And then just like athletes too because that's who I was you know that's your passion yeah I love it so where do you see yourself like a year from now five years from now like where do you see this going just talk big for us for a minute oh you want to talk big okay yeah. so I want to be I know I will be a millionaire but before I'm 30 that's for sure um next year uh I mean I'm gonna be I'm definitely gonna be at top achievers and you guys are coming with me um I want to hit five star, six star. Like I just want to keep going. And I, I honestly, when I hit, when I went from two to four star in one week, I, I, my like imagination is a reality now. Like anything that I put my mind to and anything that you guys put your mind to just know that like it will happen 100%. And if you don't believe it, it's not going to do it. Um, and I'm not going to lie. I didn't think I was going to hit four star until like that weekend going in like Saturday and Sunday, but it wasn't even on my list of things to do. Like I was just trying to hit three star. Um, so just know that when you set the bar really high, I feel like it happens. Like it really happens. And when it scares the crap out of you, it's just, it's a, that's good. That's good. I went into that week, you know, trying to push and I was really nervous. I was like, I don't know why I was just scared. I was like, I need to hit this so bad. And I don't know. I ended up pushing past it. So one year from now, I would definitely say top achievers for sure. Um, at the end of this year, I'd love to be on stage at Celebration for top 10 start income earners. Start, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, that's so awesome. We are yeah. so cheering you on. We can't wait to see all that happen too. And yes, I agree. Like where we put limits on our minds. You know, we all put limits on our, it's our minds that are putting limits and making us play small. So I love hearing you break through that. So yeah. is there anything else, Natalia, as we wrap up that you want to add and, or we can open it up for a couple questions or anything else you want to say? Um, I'm trying to think like, I, I definitely would love to answer any questions because I want to help you guys out instead of like talking about myself. Like how can I serve you for these last like few minutes on here? And I have the chat open, um, or if anyone wants to unmute, I don't know. I, I just want to answer questions. Awesome. Go ahead, unmute peeps, or put in the chat. Hey, girl. Hello. I'm, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, perfect. Hi, honey. Oh, it's so good to see you on here. Okay, my biggest question is, so you, just with your experience, like, working instructor, I feel like you had a really good, solid following on Instagram. How have you since built that following beyond what your original following was? Is it just finding new people to follow or can you help us understand a little bit more of how you've expanded your following and your influence? Yes, for sure. Um, so before I started doing like, uh, before I started getting super serious with isogenics, I obviously really focused on building my following because every 20 year old girl just wants to have a lot of people following them on Instagram. Like that's just the thing. Let's be real. Um, I had no intention of building a business at that time. However, it did help for my advantage. And I think the biggest tips that I can give to you guys is making sure to tag like big accounts in your photos, um, getting reposted on like a platform of 1 million people, 2 million people, 300,000 people, um, that is going to expose you to so many more people. So, I mean, I always tag like during my pregnancy, I probably within like, nine months, I think I gained like 2000 followers. I think it went from 12 to just 10, like 10 or 10 to 12,000. And it was like a big thing during pregnancy. I was tagging like big pregnancy accounts. Um, they were reposting my photos. They were sharing, you know, I had, I was like on a few Instagram accounts. Like I took over their accounts and stuff. Um, so I think tagging people in your actual photo is huge. Um, they'll most likely probably repost you if it's something, if it's like good quality imaging. Um, that was huge for me, like getting reposted. I mean, it's just like stupid stuff too. Like my wedding dress, I tagged Vera Wang in it and they reached out to me and they did a whole spiel on their blog and 
like little things like that. If I would have never tagged them, I would have never gotten that exposure. I think hashtags are free and stuff. Good, but tagging people in your images is huge. Um, that's honestly what blew up my business pretty quickly. So tagging big followers. And if you don't know who to tag, just figure out the theme for your photo. Are you, is it a pregnant picture? Are you a mommy? Um, is it a fitness account? Is it a transformation photo? Is it like just a yummy, delicious, delicious shake? Like there's so many big Instagram accounts that you can repost, like go and Google. Like if you Google like mommy, or whatever, they have so many mom accounts and stuff like that. And they repost all pictures all the time. Um, and I think when you get exposed to that level of people, they're going to start following you. They're going to start following your journey and also like make an effort to connect with people outside. Like whenever I go places, I don't, I don't usually get people's phone number. I ask, like I connect with them on social media, like anybody I see at the gym, I connect with them on social media. Like I'll follow you, you follow me type of thing or Facebook because they'll, then they'll start seeing your posts. Like a, a phone number is not going to do anything. Like, unless there's a, you know, send and receive. Whereas Facebook, you connect friends, all your stuff starts posting on their, their newsfeed on Instagram and Facebook. And they're going to get started getting interested in what you're doing. You're posting more about the business. You're shouting out your people for hitting rank advancements. They're seeing that you're building and you're also leading. Um, I think that was huge for me is like shouting out my people and just their success. Cause then they know that, you know, I have the ability to take them places too. Um, so that's also huge is making sure like you're going outside, um, to connect and yeah, get their phone number, but it's more important for you to be friends on Facebook and follow on Instagram so they can see your stuff without you sending like a creepy message to them about isogenics, you know? <laughs> yeah. And you wouldn't want to send more than one of those anyways, versus showing up in their feed all the time. So that's yeah, fine. exactly. Um, that's my greatest advice for Instagram and I'm trying to think like what other tips can help. Um, I think, and also like just engaging with people, anybody that comments on your pictures or go comment on people's posts and just love up on them. The more engagement you have going on, the more people are going to see your posts, start liking you and liking your things and don't post the same stuff. Like, you know, try and post family pictures, try and post your kids, like your husband, like just so everyone knows, like you're not just all isogenics. It's, it's about that whole person you are, you know, cause people are buying you. They're not just buying product, you know? So, and just be positive. People want to go on there and look and make, be happy. You know, I know that's huge too. Some people go on Instagram and just like, <clears throat> you know, make it a down day. So I think being funny, like just have that funness. Um, I do keep my Instagram account public for sure. I have a business account too, and that's huge. I, you can track, um, your people and where your followers are coming from, um, which is awesome. And you can also sponsor your posts. Like you can pay. That's like a business write off. I've done a few posts before where I sponsored and I paid paid to like get it out to more people. And I definitely, my engagement reach went way further. So just know that you can do that on a business account you can um, pay for sponsors, like a big, like a big post you have, like a power post. You're just going to, it's a write off. It's your business. So just know that you can um, sponsor posts and more people will see it. More strangers that don't follow you. Very cool. And then someone asked about tools, ISA movie. Do you have a favorite movie and, or do you use the tools a lot? Honestly, I don't. I like, there's one video that I do love, which I always send to like trainers or those people who are just so anti, they're like, I only eat whole foods. Okay. And I don't need a cleanse. I eat healthy. So I usually send them this one video, um, of, this of the woman with like the short blonde hair and she just talks about the cleanse and how she's a trainer and I feel like I've gotten a lot of people who are just very stingy and just like want it's their way or the highway and I think that video has been really helpful for me um but I don't that's the one video I do send to just like those stubborn trainers who think they know it all um but other than that I just lead with I just try and create my own ISA movie for people <laughs> You know, I think that is the most important thing. People can watch all these isogenics videos and see this, but they want to like, they want to hear from you. They want to hear your story. They want to hear 
you know, a third party validation from someone on your team. Um, so yeah, I don't share that many ISA movies. I don't know if that's bad or not. And guys, I do things like butt backwards. Well, and I think what that shows is you do what works for you. Like whatever people are finding is working. Like if you are jiving with an ISA movie, do it. And if you're like, yeah. oh, that sounds better. What Natalia's saying is better. Do that. Like whatever is going to work for you is what is the best answer. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't really get on the phone that much unless I'm talking to someone who wants to build the business. I do walk people through their box and stuff, but someone's reaching out about products. Like that's, I just tick text, bing, bang, boom, sometimes, well, all the time. And I know I'm not supposed to, but it just works for me. Um, I've noticed, especially, okay, the younger crowd, and this is huge for me too, because honestly, not everyone wants to get on the phone. Not everyone wants to get on the phone and chat. And I've honestly scheduled time with the baby to talk with people. And I've gone like, oh, I can't meet, I can't talk this time. Can we reschedule? Like, are you kidding me? I literally just put the baby to sleep. You're going to cancel on me. So that was making me really angry and I was just realizing you know what it's not about me it's about them so how can I serve you how can I help you get make this easier do you want to text do you want to do a zoom video chat do you want to get on the phone like tell me what you want so and then again you're taking yourself out of the equation and asking people what's best for them and I have noticed everybody in their 20s out of college like that young age group they want a text message they want to text 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 they don't want to get on the phone and I'm the same way um, when I get like a little bit more women in their 30s they want to get on the phone and ask more questions and then like the older crowd just get on the phone for two hours, you know, just get it all, you know what I'm saying? But mostly the 20 year olds, like they want to text you. So ask them what's best for them. Um, and go from there. I found that's really great. Just ask. It's, it's the easiest way. And I think that if you're trying to set up a phone call and they don't want to get on the phone, the chances of you guys actually getting on the phone is probably slim to none. But if they want to text and they're down to text you and voice message, do it. Ask them what they want and what's the best way to communicate. Some people prefer email. Like I hate emailing. I don't, I'm not, I'm so bad at emailing, but if someone wants the email, I'm going to send it to them because I know that that's the way I'm going to get the response or get the quickest communication. Um, so that has been really key for me. Um, I do not have YouTube and I do not have a vlog. I should, but I don't, I don't have that much time. <laughs> totally. Good. <laughs> yeah. anything final otherwise I know we went a little long here so I'm gonna wrap it up for you but if there's any burning final questions yeah seriously ask away ask I'm, cool. I'm gonna stay in this closet all night <laughs> <laughs> come hang out with us Heidi you're welcome okay well awesome well you guys I just want to have everyone just pour in Natalia quick thank you so much seriously you guys um I just so appreciate her coming on you know I mean this is the beauty of it right she's not financially tied to us here she's like who are these people in a different time zone <laughs> whatever but she just she truly does her heart she wants to see everyone here succeed and she knows that we can and um and that everyone is succeed you know I mean just such an abundant mindset so I'm just so thrilled Natalia that you were happy to hop on and yes biggest heart ever says Emily I know you've chatted with Emily so um we just appreciate you and we're just cheering you on all the way girl for sure thank so. you guys so much I really appreciate it you guys are all amazing and just know that you are capable of so much more than you think and I I seriously do truly believe that and I think when you guys change your mindset and like live in live in that it will happen for sure um you know if you're just starting out like who cares who cares nobody cares nobody knows when you started um just act like a badass and that stuff will, like seriously come to life i'm not kidding um and if any of you guys have any questions and want to talk further message me on instagram or facebook i will try and get back to you guys as quick as i can um but i want to thank you all for your time and i hope that i was somewhat of a value to you and your business and you totally yeah. totally were and you can tell her posture her energy it's jumping out of the screen so you know I mean that's just it's so exciting yay <laughs> thank you Natalia well, thank you go, so hug your, go hug your sweet baby and we'll talk to you soon all right bye guys bye. Everyone's yeah. rank advancing let's go huge week yes whoop <laughs>